Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the 25th SOCAN Awards in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Melissa and Luke from Whitehorse. How does it feel to be honoured here at SOCAN this evening? Uh, well, I, I feel like we're honouring Gordon Lightfoot. That's why we're here. I'm not, I'm not so sure that this is about us tonight, you know? It's about, it's about Gordon. Yeah, well, I grew up listening to Gordon Lightfoot, so to be here playing one of his songs is, is very exciting for me. And can you tell me a little bit about what inspired you musically when you were growing up? Well, Gordon Lightfoot was a huge influence for me. Um, my parents played him all the time, so his music is so nostalgic to me. It's so close to my heart. Um, I have many inspirations over the years, but a lot of Canadian artists. There are so many beautiful songwriters in this country. Yeah, I mean, I suppose having grown up for me, I grew up in the 70s, and um, hearing hearing Joni Mitchell and, and Gordon Lightfoot and Neil Young and Maria Muldaur and the McGarrigal sisters and uh, the band, you know, it was, um, it was a pretty great time to be a young Canadian. And uh, I, I hope that everybody thinks, feels that way tonight. I hope that's something that's close to people's hearts when they think about Gordon. And what do the SOCAN Awards mean to each of you? Well, being a songwriter myself, um, I think it's, you know, a very important aspect of what we do. And um, it's important to have a night that honors uh, musicians that are out there creating their own music. Yeah. Yeah, no, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more. Um, it's a craft, and I think a lot of people think of songwriting as some, some sort of strange voodoo. Um, but it's a job, it's a craft, and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great job, it's a hard job, but it's really rewarding. And, I, and I, I agree with Melissa that it's a good opportunity to celebrate that craft tonight. Well, thank you so much, and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.